KiwiReviews.co.nz is proud to bring you this video review for the G430 surround sound gaming headset. Now starting off with an unboxing here, the uh, box comes very well packaged, it's very nice, it looks very nice, it's very securely packaged as well, a couple of seals on each end but once you pop those the plastic in it will slide right out. Um, cracking the plastic open, the headset is actually secured on the inside with a couple of twist ties so if you undo those it'll all come free and then you'll be able to look at it in its beautiful blue and black regalia. The headphones come pre-packaged in the plastic case with these protective covers to stop any damage happening when they're packaged so when you get them out they'll be absolutely tip-top condition. Comes with a nice generous three meter long cord. The thing I really like about the cord is it's not just a cord it's actually um, a stitched nylon um, soft feeling cord which is really good. Two um, normal two and a half millimeter sockets there, one for headphones and one for the microphone. The USB unit there is actually a 7.1 sound card. So yes, these headphones are 7.1 surround sound. Now, when you plug them in, they are actually an external sound card that make the 7.1 work. Um, if you wanted to use them as just a normal stereo headphone, then you can just use it with the two leads on their own there and just plug it in. People uh, that have a Mac might find that handy. And the reason why I say that is because unfortunately the software is only supporting Windows currently at the moment. Um, about a meter away from the headset towards the computer end, um, you have this mute switch and volume control, which is always very handy. The headphones themselves are not bulky to, to actually wear. They're very light. Um, they've got a uh, very nice feel to them and a nice balance. They, uh, they, they've put a lot of time and effort into working out the design of these, the cushioning around your ears and the way that they can be worn for a long gaming session. Maybe someone could wear them for three to five hours. That's how long I sit in the seat sometimes and they're not going to start feeling really hot and heavy. Some other headsets I've used in the past have actually started to noticeably be uncomfortable to wear but not these. Uh, the designers have gone to great lengths to make sure that they will fit pretty much any head type and they will feel comfortable for the duration of the gaming. For these is they have a lot of adjustability so as you can see there the actual side ear earmuff pieces they come down quite a lot. They adapt to any head type really well because of their versatility so they'll fit you not you having to fit them. Thing that any headset really needs to tick all those boxes. You don't need to be worrying about the fit and the comfort of the headset while you're concentrating on other things so thumbs up from me. Moving on to the software now uh, you have to download it it doesn't come with an installation disc but I went to the Logitech website uh, to the G430 surround sound gaming headset download page. I didn't have to register or give email or anything I just clicked the download link and once that comes down we can see it install. Knowing that the users of these headsets are going to be gamers that are going to really benefit from having specific um, tuning for specific games, I'm just highlighting there Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which is one game that I've put many hours into. The reason why having profiles like that is so important is because it helps with the sound more than just trying to make the headphones work well for 500 games. They've actually taken the time to make it really respond well to, to, to many games, but then also to a key 5 to 8 to 10 games it will really excel at. So far the whole audio commentary has been done using the microphone on the headset. I have noticed a bit of um, noise cancelling kicking in there at the beginning of my talking. At the moment I'm just using a Behringer C1U USB mic. It gives you a bit of a comparison of the difference of the quality. The headset mic is geared for speech and that's what it will excel at. It's not going to be um, an ideal mic to use if you're doing uh, voiceovers or commentaries. Now I want to talk quickly a little bit about the actual audio quality, like what do they sound like? Now for me, I found they sounded absolutely amazing. They truly, truly do sound incredible. The software comes with basic stereo level control, but if you kick in the equalizer, you can play around with some of the boost levels. Now the only thing that I found with this, and many users have found as well, see on the left there it says preamp. It's greyed out and this is because of EU rules for hearing level safety. But the thing that I cannot really um, let, let slide past without mentioning is that it makes the headphones feel like they're only ever at 80 or 70% of their max volume. 
Now, don't get me wrong, on their max volume, they are very loud and they sound like, uh, they make you sound like the atmosphere. If you close your eyes, if you listen to audio, it will sound like you are in an amazing auditorium. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm just used to having headsets and many users on forums have also discussed this where you can actually, you know, go louder or as loud as you want. The gaming headset would just like more control over the overall top level volume that you can get out of these amazing surround sound gaming headsets. Now I have the Turtle Beach Tangos that I use on the Xbox and I can really hear people around me. I can hear them. I know where they are. The, uh, the term is, is called sound whoring. Now with these headphones on the PC when I play my Steam games, I can really hear them as well. I can hear them really directionally exactly where they are. Sometimes they actually make it sound like they're closer than they are. If I hear someone running beside me, they're actually a long way away. They're not just, you know, on the other side of the wall. So sound quality wise, very good. Overall, I rate this headset at 9.8 out of 10. The only reason why I drop a small amount off is because of the overall top volume that you cannot control. And even though the preamp feature is there, it was available in earlier versions of the software, but they've since removed it. I'd also like to mention that the software is an all-in-one Logitech software. It also detected my G11 gaming keyboard. Um, if uh, you had a mouse and other peripherals, it would also detect those and allow you to run them all within one software package, which is really handy. This Logitech gaming headset is very well priced. I would recommend that you go down, purchase it at your local retailer and give it a good go. I don't think you will be disappointed at all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.